Anthony Scaramucci out as communications director. Hadn't even been officially sworn in yet. 10 days, Mooch. 10 days he had the gig. I mean, good for him. He got Renz Priebus fired. Uh, I got Sean Spicer fired and then he got, he got fired. So, uh, the, the white house new chief of staff is John F. Kelly. And he pulled, uh, the mooch aside about 9 30 AM this morning, Eastern time and said, yo dude, you're gone. So this is just fantastic. I can't. And then Trump literally tweets, um, uh, Trump just tweeted, no WH chaos. So Trump tweeted that no White House chaos. John F. Kelly is sworn in. And then the mooch, gunslinger mooch, man, comes in, things are gonna get shaken up. I just wish I could see, see. Like, I wish there was, I, I would have paid any amount of money to just be quietly hiding. And when they, when John Kelly was like, yeah, dude, you're gone. Just the mooch, just, cause he came in, um, like, <laughs> it's crazy. So where was the, uh, so last week he had the tirade, uh, against, uh, Priebus and Steve Bannon with the reporter for New York Magazine was there and uh, <laughs> Trump's mini-me and then Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders said Trump took issue with Scaramucci's conduct and quote, found it inappropriate for a person in that position. <laughs> so <laughs> Donnie pussy grabbing Trump didn't think Mooch is, I mean, I, are we watching? Like this, is this the Jersey Shore? Like Mooch and Donny, Donny, Donny Trump. Like as Jimmy Dore calls him, Donny Tiny Hands is I, like Sean's, like really, are we, I feel like I'm watching some sort of reality show with a bunch of frat guys. You know, Mooch, yo bro, Mooch went too far, man. Johnny Kelly had to boot him. Spicy got mad, Priebus and him had a thing, and then the banner got, you know, soaked his big whiskey nose and more Nazi vodka, and you know, they had a fight. <laughs> so it's just like, I because I, I, I did a video 10 days ago about this guy replacing Sean Spicer. Um, I, I just, you know, this is, I got to read some stuff. There's the, I, I, I got an article from the LA times, but I'm sure there's, this is being reported all up, all, all over the place. Um, the personnel change amounted to undoing Trump's own hiring decisions. Scaramucci publicly said he would report directly to the president. Although communications directors typically report to the chief of staff, like everyone else on the staff. Sanders confirmed Kelly's power. One that Priebus didn't enjoy general Kelly has the full authority to operate within the White House and all staff will report to him. The White House declaration of full authority in Kelly's hands poses a major test for Trump, who has resisted numerous attempts at imposing structures since the early days of his presidential campaign. He's been in office seven months. How many people got to get fired in seven months? You know, uh, those two Republican women and John McCain uh, McCain is no hero, by the way. I, the, I know the media loves him. McCain's a hero. He, M McCain is, yes, he went through, as a POW, he went through awful crap. He went through awful crap. But he's not a good dude. What happened to him in Vietnam is awful, and it's one of the awful things of war. But that doesn't give him a free pass on who he is as a politician. And every once in a while, he'll defy a Republican president. And then the corporate media, oh, McCain's a hero. No, he's not. No, he's not. He's he's a he's a dick. But it was uh, him and I think those other two women that then prevented uh, the repeal of Obamacare. It's so. Oh God, it's so fantastic. And 
you know, uh, Kelly comes over, I believe, from the Department of Homeland Security. And it just shows that Trump doesn't, you know, doesn't know what he's doing. And it's, it's kind of hilarious to watch, uh, you know, and it, 6.19 p.m. today, he put on Twitter, a great, a great day in the White House. So like, <laughs> um, here's what happened. After word of Scaramucci's ouster, Sean Spicer, who despite his resignation had stayed on to help with the transition for his replacement, walked out of his office to a throng of reporters. Is this a surprise party, he asked? <laughs> so everybody hated the mooch. Um, it's so everything's in turmoil. Republican senators have publicly opposed firing Jeff Sessions and a couple have objected to shifting him to another post as well, given that it could appear that Trump is trying to affect the investigations of himself and his campaign in the context of Russian election interference. Um, it's, it's hilarious and it, uh, is funny. <laughs> I don't really have a lot of facts. And from, I mean, it's just, I had to do a video on this because I can't stop laughing. Uh, you know, Mooch came in that press conference and I'm the Mooch and I'm a hedge fund guy. I'm a business guy. People don't always get along, but I'm the Mooch and I do report directly to the president. Hey, Mooch, you're gone. <laughs> like literally, Kelly like sworn in and then I and I solemnly swear and I do. Okay. Get get Mooch into my office. <laughs> it was happened that quickly. Mooch, I'm gonna need to see you for a sec. Yeah, buddy, you're done. <laughs> oh, I hope Kelly gets fired. I hope they all just get fired. I mean, literally, it's it is the final days of America, and Trump is just like Hitler in the final days of the bunker, just firing everybody. We're going to invade. Uh, we're out of money and tanks, and no one wants to fight. Ah, Blitzkrieg, fight. So thanks for watching the show, you guys. It's just allowing me to have this moment of fun, fun times, good business. <laughs> like and subscribe, share these videos, and have a wonderful day.